Breezy Gang is in the building. What's good, Breezy Gang? Get your snacks, get a blanket, and get comfortable. Because you watch another extraordinary video for your entertainment. Today, we're going to be talking about musty n****. Whoa, 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 whoa. I, can't, I can't say the n-word anymore on YouTube. Musty people. We're going to be talking about musty people. And it might be random, but it's not. Because I feel like we all have had a musty human being invade our personal nose space. I'm saying we all know a musty person who just violently harassed our noses. And we're going to be talking about the templates of musty people. First one, we got the hood musty neck. A hood musty person. And they got the biker jeans, you feel me? You know what I'm saying. And if you in school, they always got the little backpack or no backpack at all. Ooh, they got some clean shoes on though, fire shoes. But stay having them them ribbed biker jeans. They'll be tight or baggy, but they always just look stank, rank, and dusty. And they always got the hangs drawers or fruit of the loom boxers poking out the drawer, poking out the pants. They got the dunes poking out the pants, and they got the Fruit of the Loom boxes or Hanes drawers. And I call those the Dookie Booty, the Dookie Booty drawers. My mom used to call them the Dookie Booty drawers back in the day. And that's what they are. And that's the huge indicator of if a is stinking or not. Next up, we got the Reddit mods. Reddit mods, whoo, they got a putrid stink. And we all went to school, nah. These were the mugs. Who would walk on their tippy toes in the hallway and they love wearing the boot cut jeans the tight boot cut jeans the ones that make you look like you got something stuck up in your dunes they had a putrid putrid foul odor they, they it's it's animal almost what they would smell like they, they smelled like animals but like not even animals because i have animals and they smell pretty good they smell like Pro cavemen, I don't know. I've never even met a caveman and they smell like cavemen. And last but not least, ain't nobody mustier than a little boy who just will not get off the game. God, hey, and this was me when I was little. I would not get off the game. My, see, when I was young, my ass was stuck to that damn gaming chair. Damn, my sh was itching and ferocious. And I just, I just couldn't nobody tell me to get up and out in no shower. I ain't want to miss the game. And the preset of that little stinking ass, musty ass would be PJs. Never got out the PJs. Some like polo shirt I wore from school the day before. Yeah. Matter of fact, every, every little jit that just wouldn't get off the game when it was look, look like this boy from Bernie Mac. I'm not stinking no more. I promise you. But those were the templates of the mustiest stinking ass n****. I, I, God, I need to stop cussing. Jesus. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna just show you the skit. Here you go. God! What is that smell? <laughs> It smells like a mixture of mothballs and mildew. Relax, man. You probably just left some clothes in the washroom. You know, I do that all the think, time. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I think, I think the smell is coming from you. Huh? That's preposterous. Hey, oh! musty, bro. Well, it's only two of us here, and one of us ain't changed these drawers since, like, last month. How many times do I have to keep telling you it's a pack? My grandma bought me a pack for Christmas. You're making my eyes burn. That's not normal. If you can't get over a little stench, then what kind of homie are you for real? Bro, leave. Leave. Oh. All right. Man, f*** you. Extraordinary. Before we get started into the video, I just reached 3K subs.